What's up? This is OXDF, and I'm looking at the Sans Holiday Hack 2021 uh, objective number two. Where in the world is Carmel Santiago? Um, and there's a whole way you can play this game, but also you can uh, pull up the dev tools here and pull up this cookie and get this flask cookie and kind of cheat the game. Um, so in the game, you got to use clues to assemble, you know, which way you're going to move, what, what is the order of the cities you're going to visit. Um, but here, I'm going to copy this flask cookie out of here and let's see, we'll open up a Python terminal. And uh, from here, we can just do, you know, it, there's a gist from Chris Elgi about how to do this, but import Zlib, uh, import it's dangerous. And now we just do, so it's a cookie equals, paste that in. And then we just need to do, uh, see, it's zlib.decompress. Uh, and then the next one is, it's, it's dangerous.base64 underscore decode. Now I'm using it's dangerous to decode here for a couple reasons. Um, one, this is not this is a URL safe encode, um, and two, it's dangerous just to, like handle the padding and stuff like that nicer. So um, that that's what Chris used, and that seems like what's easiest here as well. Um, so we'll do cookie, uh, but we don't want the whole cookie because we need to split on the dot sign and just get the first one. Um, so we want you know zero will be nothing, and then the, this will be the meat of it, and then. Where does it stop? Right here. And then the rest of this right here is the signature. Um, so we couldn't edit this and send it back unless we had the secret key. Um, but we don't need to just read it. We don't need that. So we can do that. Oops, what did I see? Am I missing a thing? And you can see right here very nicely, um, you know, a bunch of data. Um, we can pretty print this if we import the JSON module. Let's see. So if we do JSON.loads, that'll turn it into a dictionary object. If we do JSON.dumps, That'll turn it back into a string. And if we do indent equals, let's do like two spaces. And now if we print that, it'll make a very pretty picture with, with our JSON data. Um, so that's, you know, we can see right here, uh, what day is it currently, who the elf we're tracking is. So that's the answer we need at the end. The hints that are gonna come along the way, um, the current location, the route I'm gonna take is, here, um, although I can't quite get all of it. Um, one thing that's interesting it, to note is you see these full clues for the things, but you never see a full clue for um, elf hints um, under the, this is gonna be the GIF, whether they say hard or soft G. Um, also, you'll note that there's three items in the route, even though one of them is a placeholder, which is kind of weird. Um, and there's three clues. So I don't actually get uh, the, hard clue, which is why there's not like a full clue. It just says hard, um, which is kind of interesting. Um, so one of the things I wanted to try was, can I, uh, can I grab, can I grab a ton of these and just decode them all and see if I can, you know, rather than playing the game a bunch, if I wanted to just pull down all of the, um, elf hints, can I do that real quick and make sure I got them all? Um, so let's control D get out of here. Um, I be running Tmux so I can have multiple windows. Uh, let's see, let's go back to our dev tools here. Let's see, do we have the load for this? Um, if we come up here, we can see, it's probably hard, really hard to read here. I don't know if I can make this any bigger. Ooh, maybe I can, it's making it smaller. Um, when I, this initial challenge request, right, is where this cookie gets set. Um, so it's right here. So we will grab, grab this request URL come back in here and what if we curl and do minus s just to hide errors um, or if I want to pipe it oops let's see let's let's do minus let's do an i to see if we can just do a head request and we can and we get the cookie um let's see if we can get rid of some of this junk that we probably don't need we don't need my username I'm guessing um I mean, now I mean I won't be able to solve it and submit for points but that's not what we're trying to do anyway that works um so that works pretty well so we'll grab this um, because I need Zlib and stuff to do the decompression, I'm going to go ahead and start a Python script. Um, vim git cookies.py. Let's see. Python 3 import Zlib, I believe it was. Um, 
And then we need import. It's dangerous. URL equals. Let's put that there. So we don't need the curl. Uh, in case I didn't say it earlier, I'm us using I to do a head request. Um, the dash I, capital I, gives me a head request, so I don't actually get the content. I just see the headers that are set, but that's all I need right here because that's where the cookies are set. Um, so I got this URL. We're obviously going to need requests. Put this up because I like to have them in alphabetical order. Import requests. And we'll just say um, response equals request dot head URL print response dot cookies. I think that's right. Well, if that doesn't work, we'll try playing with it. Actually, let's do this. Oops, let's write that. And then we'll open up a small window. We'll do Python 3 minus I to get a shell at the end. And we'll do get cookies dot pi. And now we can see what is response. 200, that's good. Uh, we can run dir on response and see what we have here. Um, there is a cookies object. And what if I just, what if I just print that? Yeah, there we go. Um, can I get it by the name Cookie Pella? I can. Sweet. Okay, so we will do cookie equals response dot cookies cookie Pella. And then we'll do the same thing we did before, which is so um, zlib dot decompress. It's dangerous dot base sixty four decode cookie dot split dot dots. There we go. Just the first one, and close that, and we'll make this um, data equals, and then we can do. Do data string data equals data JSON dot loads. Actually, you know what? Let's just let's make this simple and not try to do it all in Python. Uh, print data string. What does this work? Let's see. That works beautifully. Let's uh, decode it. Get it out of. The, get the Python. Um, it's a uh, B and then the string thing off the front. We decode it and make it an actual string. That looks nice. Um, I think I can run this into JQ dot. Let's see if that works. No, it does not like that. Let's see. Which part does not? Oh, I'm in. Let's get rid of the dash I for now. And that'll pretty print it really nicely. Um, it'll also allow us to select, um, so we can do like elf hints. So we can do like jq dot elf. What's the capitalization on that? Capital H. And just see the elf hints. I think if we put a dash r in here, we'll get them without the. Uh, let's see. So if we put that, there we go. Now we've got them on individual. Now we've got just the hints printing out. So we can do something like uh, for i in se uh, seq uh, one one hundred do that done into sort minus u. Should have started this with a smaller number than a hundred. Maybe the site's blocking me or something at this point too. Um, let's get out of that for a second. Let's do in one to five just to start and see if that. Oops, that doesn't look good. Yeah, this is looking good. Okay, so let's try one to twenty-five and see what we get. Um, and you'll see right. We can see right away they get so they get sorted by, you know, the types. So. We have the four different possibilities for the um, fandom thing they like. We have the two options for the like spaces or tabs. We have the four languages they can choose. We have the four social medias they can choose. And we're always getting back hard. Uh, and I'm guessing this is kind of an Easter egg that says, 
there is no there's no debate here there's only one right way to do it and it's hard um and i agree so um we'll leave it at that uh hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, i'll talk to you next time